it's kind of a needle in a haystack game. A game of looking for one's BFF. They're relatively small. In total darkness. So they have really big, sharp teeth. Is a game of trial. Ooh. Ooh. Error. Actually, it's a deer taking a poop. And sleepless nights. I'm not a three in the morning person. But it's David Lucas's job. <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> as a refuge manager at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. We are looking for black-footed ferrets, the most endangered mammal in North America. It's all worth it once he finds one. And she will not be happy, but she's going to come out, aren't you? Make my life easy. Each animal caught, checked, released tonight is a great story of success. And she's out of here. For the black-footed ferret, America's BFF. Oh, there he goes. He's dancing. Apparently, the ferrets are liking their new non-extinct status, too. The ferret dance is what they call that. Very few people get to see what we're seeing right now. Very few people. Scientists introduced 25 tiny dancers to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal Prairie two years ago. <laughs> Today, by last count, there are 50. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, being a ferret out in the wild. But it looks really good. I got to say, its coat is amazing. Scientists hope their work will save the species. Man, he's cute. And lead to overall nationwide fame. So the goal is Tiny Dancer on the Today Show. What do you think, Ann? At night is really when the prairie is alive. I mean, you saw the deer. We're seeing the ferrets. Normally, you'll see owls. You'll see coyotes. You'll see badgers. You see the rabbits. All depend on each other to eat, to survive, to dance. I love seeing when things are starting to work, too. So when one link is almost lost, people like Dave say it's their responsibility to bring it back. That is what success is, is if we can all work together to conserve what we have left here in the United States, um, we're doing the right thing. For next, I'm Anastasia Bolton.